guys, Amy here, and today we're going to be going through our 2022 seed haul. Stay tuned. <laughs> from inside our house uh the weather today has been on and off rain and as you can tell my hair is still drying i went out this morning to take care of the animals and i got caught in one of those downpours i was hoping to make it in and out before it rained again right now it is kind of sunny i'll show you see sunny but <laughs> it's been raining on and off all day got halloween in the background yeah, hi, baby. Curled up on the uh, Donald's uh, Christmas blanket. But I wanted to tell everybody, Merry Christmas if you're here in the United States. Happy holidays to everybody around the world. Uh, whether you celebrate, um, you know, Yule, Kwanzaa, uh, the menorah. Just happy holidays to everybody. And today we're going to be going through the seed haul we got. Now these will be seeds that we're going to be planting between um, right in January because we're here in Florida. You know, our winters are a little bit different than everybody else's up north. Um, but either way, these are going to be the seeds that we're going to be using and planting for 2022. I ordered from three different companies. And the first one, I got them down here is a local company here in Florida. Uh, this is from the Florida Seed and Garden. They're based out of Lakeland. Um, I happened to find them and there's another website called Florida Gardening or Florida Seeds. I, I don't know, but I will have all the links below to everybody that I'm showing or talking about. Um, now, with this particular company, because they are local, these are going to be seeds that are going to be doing well here in Florida. I'm going to show you the box that came in. It actually came in a very, very nice way. Um, it's uh, biodegradable, so it's cardboard, which is really nice. Um, it, they have a little padding. And simple. Little baggies. And they put... They printed out little labels for them. So, the first one I ordered was the Habanero Pepper Chocolate Brown. The next one is called White Lesbian Scallion. And last but not least, the Florida Market eggplant because we really do enjoy our eggplant so i ordered these three seeds from them and i was will be trying out this local company but simple box all it came in now the second one which is everybody knows about is of course is baker creek rareseeds.com so I ordered from them because I needed some seeds that I could not find on the other websites. Um, and I also got a free packet from them. So the free packet I got was the lettuce packet, which we love lettuce. I did order two of the butterfly pea. Uh, the reason why I got this was because I noticed this year the honeybees or bees in general were not pollinating even though we saw a lot of them the seed pods that were developing and i was saving and opening up the seeds were either underdeveloped they didn't develop or they rotted in the seed pod it was kind of weird this year um so as a precaution because i do have leftover seeds and I don't want to take the chance of nothing ger germinating. I went ahead and I ordered some from them. I also got um, Donald some poblano pepper because he mentioned that he really likes eating these at the restaurant. So I thought this would be nice pepper for him to grow. I ordered the bullseye 
tooth eggplant. I have the yellow one, the regular one, but this one has the red dots on it. So I thought, why not have some fun this year? Uh, the next one I grew or ordered, I should say, this is one of, I thought of Donald on this one was the Carolina Reaper pepper. <laughs> Donald loves the hot sauce. He wants to make his hot sauce. I told him he can make it, but he can't make it inside the house. That's a no-no. Because last time he made it in the house, I was crying. I had to hide in our bedroom with the door shut just to not be over. <sighs> Felt like he was gassing me out. All right. The next one was the Mennonite Sungum. Um it's probably backwards on your end. Um, I wanted to grow this for fun, uh, basically to see if we can grow it here in our wet climate. And then last but not least, I did order this one really for me um, because I like making stuff like wind chimes and necklaces and stuff like that. Jacob's Tears. These are literally seeds that you can dry out and then drill a hole in. Um, a lot of times uh, people will use them to make rosary beads out of, uh, necklaces, bracelets. I thought, why not have some fun with it? But these were the seeds that we ordered from Baker Creek this year. Now, last but not least is the big one. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of M.I. Gardener, and <laughs> he had a sale, and I went overboard. <laughs> so I'm going to show you quick. A lot of these I ordered doubles on because they were, um, you know, uh, wanted to make sure we had some. But uh, we got some Virginia peanuts. Where we have some from the original batch, but I wanted to order more because Donald really likes boiled peanuts and he's kind of gotten me into it. So now I want boiled peanuts all the time. So I ordered two of those. We got the Utah tall celery because Donald eats celery for his lunches. Giant noble spinach. Purple of Sicily cauliflower. I got the purple one because I thought, why not? Let's have some fun. Baby corn. Yes, baby corn. The ones that you see in stir fries. Donald also likes making stir fries, so I thought, why not grow some baby corn for him? Ah, tomatoes. We got the Ace 55 tomato. We got the Florida Day tomato. This was really good for us this year, this past year. I got the, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, but the Boachoka pepper. Uh, we got some broccoli, basil, early jalapeno pepper, again for Donald. I have the Little Gem Butterhead Lettuce. I saw this and I thought this was going to be awesome. Little heads of lettuce that we could harvest early and it's petite. It's going to be cute. I did order some coffee <laughs> uh, we already have three coffee plants but I thought why not let's grow some more we got some garden mix cover crop this year now we've never done cover crop before so this year we're going to go ahead and give it a try I also got some cherry bell radish the habanero caribbean orange Pepper, again for Donald. Large red cherry pepper. We got the Boxcar Willy Tomato. I thought that was just a fun name. I ordered it. Um, butternut squash. Donald actually likes butternut squash, so we're going to try and grow it this year. Rose tomato. A trophy tomato. Mixed beets, because I do like pickled beets, so I'm going to try this again and see if I can get them to grow. We got the 
Danvers 126 carrots. Mixed salad bowl. The Amish paste tomato. This one was really good and it cooked down really nice for us. And I got two of those. I got this one for fun. Hibilly tomato. <laughs> These are huge. Then I got the prize head leaf lettuce. We got broadleaf sage. I got some thyme. Italian oregano. These are all going to go into our seed or our, our seasonings that we make. Rosemary. I got the dinosaur kale. This was awesome. We grew this two year about two years ago, and it came out great. And then I also picked up a Russian red kale. And then last but not least, something for the pollinators mainly the butterflies this year. I got the swamp milkweed. So that is all from MI Gardener. And this year we're hoping to have a really good um, growing rate. Um, as you know, in the prior videos we had where we planted expired seeds. And as you know, the germination rate does not um, help. <laughs> when they get older the germination rate actually goes down as they get older so it's one of those where we planted them anyways because we're trying to get rotate out um i am going to keep a hold of the sunflower seeds and i am going to be planting sunflower seeds everywhere this year does not matter what size they are um i do need to also help donald with our papaya seeds uh, we have some that um, they are older, but um, we need to grow more papayas because another plant we love down here in Florida is papaya. We like eating it. But all in all, that is our seed haul for this coming up year. And like I said, everything will be down in the description. And if you've grown any of these seeds, let me know down below. Go ahead and comment and um what zone you're in, and how well it grew for you. All right, me and Halloween, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.